Good morning. We'll start with our feet together and take our arm overhead and go to the side. Let me stay there. I'm just going to tilt my camera up a little bit and hold. And we're going to add a little rotation so that if you want to find a little place that feels more meaningful to you, holding a spot. And you can let that foot cross over and hold five. Hold four, three, two, take an inhale to go up and let's go to the other side, cross that foot over, arm goes up, add rotation and find a little place that you knew need, you need, breathing into the side that feels exposed towards the sky, five, four, three, two, and then take another inhale, and on the exhale, let that go. Good morning. And then take the feet underneath. We're going to lift and spread the toes and do that three times. One, and yes, Betty, that is good for your toes, what you were telling me. I think I emailed you back. Lift and spread your toes and take a right foot up to your left. This is tree. This is one-legged balance can try to find a place where your foot will stay and you're welcome to add on your limbs tall. That's going to make it harder. Hold here. We're going to do a 30 second hold. One, two, good. Three, one legged balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, good, that's okay, Jean, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then 30, the hands come down, lower your foot, lift and spread your toes, and take that foot other side up to your calf or to your inner thigh. We're going to go up and hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and 30, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the hands down. Let that foot come down. And then take the right arm behind you and hold on to the right foot. Good, hi Pam. And now on this one, we did a little um, half moon and we did a tree pose. Now the ribs can pull down and the pubic bone up. So um, that's really important to keep the low back safe. So you're gonna feel like you're abdominals are toned when you do this otherwise the low back gets too inwardly sway and you're standing tall so Pam that'll feel a lot better as you pull your ribs down and your pubic bone up this is probably uh, just the front hip that you're feeling and the quad maybe your shoulder and your chest you're also feeling your balance now, when you, if you decide to add on, you still have to keep your belly pulling in, your, your ribs down, your pubic bone up. That way your low back doesn't get more extended. And hold. Otherwise, you can just stay put. Now, pull the right hip down a little. Yeah, because it's trying to lift. Five. There you go. Four. That's it. Three. Two. Really work the abs here. And one, you're gonna lower that foot. Your hands come to your heart. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Your hand goes back, hold on to your foot or your ankle, reach your other arm up. Now, when you're here, you're pulling the ribs down. You're pulling the pubic bone up. You're making sure that your low back doesn't get any more inwardly curved. One, holding. You're gonna feel your quad and your hip. Good. You're very tall.
Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, if you'd like to add on, you're still gonna pull your ribs down and your pubic bone up. You're gonna feel that left shoulder open. So that way your low back is not more curved than usual. There you go. Left hip drops down, five. Base is soft, four, beautiful, three, two, really good balance. Inhale, now as you exhale, you're gently bringing that back. Beautiful, hands down. Now we're gonna take tree pose again, but we're gonna add our shoulder stretch. So lift and spread your toes, right foot up to your calf or your inner thigh, just like we did before. Now we did arms up last time. We're gonna add on a 30 count with the stretch. Pull the ribs down, pull the pubic bone up and hold. Two, this is great for posture, great for shoulder health. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 and then lower your foot and lower your hands pam your uh balance looked amazing with two dogs running around your feet you didn't lose your balance so it was great foot up <laughs> that was a harder challenge <laughs> okay you're gonna pat yourself now the other hand's gonna work its way up and good betty gosh that looks great lift up through your spine and hold now you do have some abdominal tone here one two Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Good, Jean. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Inhale, and then on your exhale, lower your foot. Beautiful job. Take those feet out. Now, one rule of thumb is that your wrists are over the ankle. So you could do that and take an inhale. And on your exhale, bring your hands down towards your feet or ankles. Relax your neck and hold here. Release tension. Let any tension go. 10, nine, and you're just pulling a little bit on the ankles. Five, four, three, two. Now you can put your hands underneath your shoulders and between your feet and pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And now you can take your hands behind your back and interlace them and let the arms go over and just feel how the shoulders open towards gravity and the inner thighs are still opening. Five, four, three, two, just let that fall. And then take another inhale. And as you exhale, walk over to your right foot. And that's gonna give you a little bit more tension on that leg. You can shake out your neck, release any tension. Five, four, three, two. And then we're gonna walk over to your other foot and relax there five four three two 
and then go right down the middle and hold again for five, four, three, two, and then on the one, you can come up to your right hand or your right knuckles underneath your face. Your left arm is gonna open up. So imagine you're a windmill and you're stretching out through your arms as wide as you can and you're not just hanging on the bottom arm and inhaling. As you exhale, if you'd like to bend that top arm and wrap it behind your right foot, right thigh, you can. It's gonna feel like a shoulder opener. Five, four, three, two. Bring your left hand up and around to the floor again. Lift your right arm up to the sky and hold five, four, three, two. Now you can bend that elbow and kind of hook it more behind you. Five, four, three, Two, we're gonna take another inhale. And on your exhale, just let it go. Walk your hands to your hips and come up halfway. Let your blood pressure adjust. We were upside down for a while and then go into a little back bend, a little one. You're, um, and then Pam, you're gonna really lift up your spine and your upper back is more important for the extension than the lower. Inhale and exhale come into a vertical you can step or jump together hands together hold for a moment good uh, if you need a sip grab a sip we're getting ready to take a down dog so inhale and scoop now on your exhale we're going down towards the floor you can walk your feet back and you can go straight into a down dog if you need to. Otherwise, you can bend your elbows and go into an up dog and then go into a down dog. Now, in the down dog, walk one leg and then the other. Walk one leg and then the other. You're going to feel your calf stretch on one side. Now, both heels lift and both heels lower. I'm going to adjust the camera, <clears throat> but I'm still in down dog. You can meet me there. Four. Three, two, and both heels press. Hold here, five, four, three, two. Now the left foot can push on the right heel and hold for five, four, three, two, and now the left foot can be down and you can push the right foot on the left heel and hold. Five, four, three, two, both heels press. Five, four, three, two, and then one and let your knees down and take your hands and knees on the floor. Hello. And you're gonna lift up your left leg towards the sky and take your right hand towards your left foot and you can push that up towards the sky. So you'll really wanna pull those, uh, the rib down and the pubic bone up. That way you're not just excessively curving your low back. Now keep gently pushing. Five, four, three, Two, now lower that foot and that hand. Now lift your right knee up and take your left hand to your right foot or ankle and push up. Good, so you'll really um, make sure you're not excessively curving the low back. You can do that by pulling the pubic bone towards your belly button and your ribs towards your belly button. And hold, five, try to breathe normally, four, so we're not holding our breath, three, two and on the one let that hand and that knee down now leave your back and table lift up all your toes so no toes are touching the floor your right arm and your left leg reach out on your exhale pull your elbow to your knee and round your entire back 
straighten out and exhale. If it's too hard, you can let your right toes touch. Otherwise, straighten out, three, and when you lift that back leg, make sure you're not overarching your back or you're only flat. Five, I'm gonna look at you, good Pam. Six, good Jean. Seven, that's it. Eight, round, nine, and 10. Now you're gonna put your right hand down, your left, your uh, all your limbs down. Now lift up all the toes. Your left arm and your right leg stretch. Exhale, round the elbow to the knee. Try to keep the left toes off the floor. Try to keep the left shin off the floor. And round, and round, and exhale, and inhale, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and then press into a downward facing dog, curl your toes, push your hips up, and hold. Left foot on the right heel, five, four, three, two, and left foot down, right foot on the left heel, hold five, four, three, two, and both feet down. Now, if you'd like to add on, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog, and lift your left hand off the floor, two-legged dog. Try to balance for five, four, three, two, those limbs come down gracefully. Left leg up. If you'd like to add on, lift your right left hand up. Five, four, three, two. Lower the limbs. Inhale. And this time, right leg up, left hand up. If you'd like to add on, you can hold on to that foot in the air. And hold five, four, Three, two, take the left hand down, take the right foot down, lift up the left leg. If you'd like to add on, lift up your right hand. If you'd like to add on, hold on to that left foot in the air. Five, four, three, two, lower the limbs, come down to your elbows and hold a plank for 10. There you go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we're going to turn. So your elbow is underneath your shoulder, lift up side plank, 10, nine, hi Betty, that's good. I couldn't see you when you were down, thank you, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna take it to the other side. I'm changing so I can see you. Hold for 10, once you get to your side plank. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower your booty and we're gonna do reverse plank or reverse table. Reverse plank is the knee bend. Reverse plank is the legs long. Lift your hips up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and inhale and exhale, one. Now sitting on the floor, take your feet soles together. And if you need a sip, this is a great chance to get it. You're gonna lean forward and bound angle. So I am gonna grab a sip and hinge forward mm. let your elbows gently assist if you'd like and let your neck soften good Ten. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Now take another inhale here, and then let your legs go out wide. Now we did this standing up earlier at the beginning of session, but try this because it'll feel a little bit more open. I am going to lower my um, video screen just a little bit, but you can stay where you are. 10, yeah, nine, eight, good. Let everything go, that's it, beautiful. See how much more open it is. Five, four, now notice how you feel. Take the right arm to the left inner thigh and you can go up and over. And you might even be able to grab those toes. Feel that rib cage. So similar to how we did a standing half moon, now we're doing seated. You may feel that extra layer of flexibility. Now the breath is another way to increase that flexibility. Breathe into that side and expand. You're releasing tight fascia. You're opening up the fascia, the muscles, the space between the vertebra. Hold for three, hold for two, and hold for one. Notice how that feels in the ribs and in the inner thighs and in the lats and the back. As you're ready, you can go to the other side. Your hand can go in side that V, your other arm goes up and over. Good. Breathing, opening. Feel that rib cage open. Five, four, three, two. You're doing great. We are going to be going right down the middle. So just see how that feels. See if it's a lot more open. Yes. Looks good. Whoops, shake out that leg and then go down. All right, five, four, three, two, And just notice how that feels. Come on back up. Very good. And then bring those feet in. We're going to turn over to downward dog. So you'll probably cross over your ankles. Spread out your hands like there are pieces of pie between them. Shift your hips up. And then walk it out with the heel. And then the other heel dropping. Shake it out. Releasing. And then as you're ready, see if you can go into a plank. If you need to be on your elbows, you can. Otherwise, you can take your right knee under for a flamingo. Five, four, three, 
two, place that right foot back, pull the left knee under, five, four, good, three, two, one, left foot back, right knee to left elbow, five, diagonal flamingo, four, three, two, right foot back, left knee to right elbow, five, four, three, two, left foot back, right knee on the mat, open up the body, open up into a half sphere, press through your hip, and really pull your, uh, make sure you're, pull your pubic bone up, your sternum up, Good, stretching like a big circle. Five, four, three, two. Now on the exhale, your left hand and your left knee come down. Your right foot goes back, your right arm goes up. Big heart lift, stretching. Opening, five. Four, three, two, and take that other inhale, and exhale, bring it back, and push back into a downward dog. Press your heels towards the floor, try to lift up your toes to make it harder. The heels are down, the toes are up. And inhale. On your exhale, go into front plank. This time, go into side plank on your right hand. Now your left foot can come behind you and you're gonna lift up. So you see how this is a little harder variation of that half sphere. If it's too hard, go back to the earlier one where your right knee was down. Otherwise, five, four, lift your hips. Good, hold, three. Stretching through that arm, two, strong left foot. Now side plank, front plank, go to the other side, left hand, left foot. Now the right foot goes behind you, push the hips up, hold, half sphere, five, four, three, two, Take another inhale, and as you exhale, go through the side plank, and then go to a little bit of a down dog here. Shake out your neck, just relax your neck, wide shoulder blades, and then come down to your elbows. This is the forearm plank. Hold here. If you would like to add on, push through your toes, then drop back through your heels, push through your toes, drop back through your heels, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And take five more, four more, three more, two. Now rest your pelvis and really pull your belly up away from the floor. This is Sphinx. If you'd like to take your hands down and go up higher, this is Cobra. And then um, hand the cues we were talking about, you really have to pull the pubic bone up and the ribs down. So your upper back is more your focus than your lower back. You're never going to feel like you're just hanging or sagging in the low back. It's as if there's a piece of ice underneath your low back. Hold for five, four, three, two, inhale. And now when you lower, let your head rest and lift up both legs. Now your hamstrings and glutes are working. Now lower your legs and lift up your upper body and let your hands push you higher. Inhale and exhale lower. Now your thighs come up, inhale. And now your upper body is going to add on. Push, exhale lower, lift your thighs, lift your upper body. So now you can see we're doing a little bit of a rocking chair motion. You always are in control with your breath. Your cadence is your breath. Your inhale can lift you. Your shoulder blades are down. The belly pulls up. Good, and lift up and hold another one of these. Upper back. This is the secret sauce to keeping a upright posture. 
whole here. Five, a lot of people will add abdominal crunches to the routine and um, that's great and fine, but we just definitely need to do something for extension or the body starts looking rounded. All right, we're gonna take a lower. Now this is either a child pose with your hips towards your heels, or if your knees don't like all that flexion, you can just leave your booty up, puppy dog. So otherwise, just relax your back. Five, four, three, two. And then take a side plank. If you need a sip, please take it. I am gonna take that. Arm up. Inhale and add a thread the needle. Try six here. Open and exhale. Thread. Five. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Two. One. Inhale. Now lower your hip with care and we'll take the other side. Six rotations in side plank. We open up. We add a rotation. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Lower your hip with care. Go to the other side. We'll do six, paint a rainbow, which is lateral flexion. Hand to your thigh, lift up your hip, go up and over. One, Lower the hip a little, but don't let it rest. Two, inhale, three, four, five, and six. Now lower your hip. Let's take it to the other side. And elbow under. We're gonna take your hand to your thigh. We're gonna go up and over, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. Come back to side plank. Now it's a tree option. Other side. If you would like to take tree, your foot can go on your inner thigh or your calf. Exhale, lift up, hold, Six, good. Five, act like you're in a toaster oven. Four, three, two. Take another inhale and exhale. Lower your hip down and let's go to the other side. Take your elbow underneath your shoulder. You can place your foot on your inner thigh or your calf and lift up and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Lower that hip back down. Perfect. Come back to a normal forearm plank. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Now on the normal plank, you're gonna press your hips back. This becomes dolphin. So it's almost like a down dog, but with your forearms. Now shift forward and do plank. Now exhale, lift your hips back. Now draw the hips to plank. Exhale, push the hips back and then back into plank. Three more of these. You can feel your body warm. Exhale, plank, lift into dolphin. Then go into plank, dolphin, and plank and hold. Five, four, three, two now rest your pelvis take the hands at your hips palms face the floor ideally but if you need to you can do the other one the palms towards the floor is going to open your shoulders lift up your back lift up your thighs and let your breath lift you up and down five four three two, and lower. Now, if you can add on, interlace your fingers at your low back. Pull the palms towards each other like you have a penny between your hands. Lift up your upper back, lift up your legs, lift up your arms and breathe. Five, 
four, three, two, lower. Now switch your hands. Go up, inhale, lift your upper back, lift your arms, lift your legs. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Either do that again, or if you would like to add on, bend your knees, hold on to your feet, press up. Now this is bow posed on your asana. You really have to pull your belly in, uh, the ribs pull down, the pubic bone pulls up so that you're not just collapsed in the low back. Check your neck. It should feel free and easy. You're probably looking down towards the floor just a couple inches in front of the mat. Four, three, two. We're going to relax and do it one more time. When you're ready, come up. Belly pulls up. Upper back is our focus. Five, four, three, two and one lower now from here downward dog press the hips up walk it out if you'd like by bending one knee and then the other we're going to lift up our right leg towards the sky and exhale that right foot to your hands you can roll your knuckles under so that you're a little easier in your hands bend and straighten bend and straighten. You're gonna feel your hamstring and your hip flexor. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Drop your hips, lift your heart and hold. Good, it's like a runner's lunge. Betty, walk your right toes forward about three inches. Yeah, so you make your front knee about 90 degrees. You see that? Yeah, or walk your body back. There you go. Now lift your hips, or sorry, lift your heart. Five, four, your hips might drop. Three. Now you can plant that left foot. Put your right hand on the inside of that right foot and open up. If you can, left arm over. Good. Five. Reach, if your top arm can uh, wants more, you can take it over your ear or behind your back. There you go, nice, five, four, three, two. Now bring the left hand down. Mm -hmm. Pull the left foot in about two inches closer to your right foot. Begin to straighten your right knee only to where you feel a hamstring stretch. This is called low pyramid. Left hip forward, right hip back. Relax your neck. 10. Hold. Five. You feel that hamstring stretching. Take another inhale. Now as you exhale, place your feet back and walk it out. You're gonna feel your downward dog. Lift up your left leg towards the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale your left foot forward to your hands. Now, you can roll your knuckles under to be a little easier on your wrist and just push back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Uh, I would walk your yeah left foot forward even more, Betty, just a tiny bit more. Yeah, just walk your toes. Yeah, all right, great. Yep, all right, you're inhaling and exhaling. This is dynamic stretching, which is a great way to get blood flow into the muscles that we're going to stretch. It's also giving you information, what's tight. 
Now the next time your left knee is 90, you can stay with that 90 degrees and lift up your heart, energize your back leg. Hold. Stretching, breathing, opening. Mm -hmm. Heart is lifting. Back knee is even stronger and longer. Now to add on, your left hand can come on the inside of that foot. Your right foot plants down. Open up your right arm. You could take the right arm over your ear for more advance or behind your back and hold. We're going to take another inhale. And as you're ready, you can bring your hands down, pull the right foot in a couple inches closer. Left knee starts to straighten. Just uh, make sure you don't force it to straighten. You just want to go to where you feel your hamstring stretching. Relax your neck. Right hip steers forward, left hip steers back. Feel that hamstring. Neck is relaxed. Hamstring is lengthening. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now on the one, you can put that left foot back and walk it out, downward dog, press through the heels. You can try to lift the toes to add more intensity. And inhale. On your exhale, let your shins down. I'm going to turn sideways. This is called the frog pose. Let your knees go wide and you can put your big toes towards each other. This is for inner thighs. Uh, another chance to grab a sip of water if you'd like. So... Come on down if you need to. I'm just going to grab a sip. Mm -hmm. You could rest your head on your forearms. That a girl. As you get more uh, flexible here, your knees could open up wider. Your big toes are probably towards each other. Uh, Pam, that should feel really good on your low back because of that decompression. Yep, good. That's what I like. Good. Um, Gene, that looks great. Betty, that looks great. Good, Christina. Everybody looks good. You're always welcome to look up if you have any questions or text me uh, or chat me. Letting go. Everybody looks good, though. So we're just going to relax. This is gravity assisted. Gravity is helping us. So just give in to gravity by letting the inner thighs soften. We'll hold for five more. 
four more. Three more. Two more. We're going to slowly come up to the inner thighs or through the forearms and pull the knees together. Let's go back in that downward dog. Heels press. And we're going to take the right leg up and exhale the right thigh forward. And this is pigeon. Ekapada, Raja, Kapalpasana. Belly pulls in. Back leg stretches back. Beautiful. Now, if while you're here, you want to experiment with the balance, you can let go of the hands on the floor. You can interlace them behind your back. Five, four, three, two, gorgeous. And then you can exhale and fold over that thigh. Uh, I like to little, uh, rock a little right and left and get the different fibers of the external rotators. You can notice your left leg might be able to stretch back more. Just hold. Five. <laughs> Four, three, two, good. just notice how that hip feels. If you want to thread the needle here, you can. Your left arm goes underneath your right armpit and your right arm goes up and around to your Big toe that's underneath your hip. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, come back up to a downward dog, heels press, walk it out. Now the left leg is going to go up towards the sky and the left thigh is going to come forward into pigeon and hold. You can walk that right foot back further. Your upper back is opening, but you have your uh, pubic bone pulling up so you're never just hanging out in your low back. Great. And if you wanted to add a balance, you could experiment here. You could interlace your fingers, open up, still pull the abs in. Four, goodness, three. Yeah, back hip flexor is opening too. You can feel that right psoas. Inhale. And exhale as you're ready. Fold it forward, wiggle into it, get cozy like you're getting under the covers in winter. And relaxing. If you want to add on, you can put your right arm underneath your left arm pit and your left arm reaches up and behind you. This is thread the needle on the pigeon. Good. There you go, Jean. Or, or yeah, either one. Yeah, or just stay relaxed. Yeah, your right arm's on the floor if you want it. You don't have to. Yeah, and hold five. And four. And three, and two. Take another inhale. Just feel that hip relax. You're gonna slowly start coming up. 
with your hands spread out, you can press back into a downward facing dog. Press your hips, walk it out. Now this next one is plank. Hold for five, four, three, two, lower down. Now this is rotation, so watch how I do this. Right armpit underneath the left, or sorry, right hand underneath the left armpit, roll over and now you're in a twist. If that didn't work out, just start how we normally do on the back. Otherwise, your gaze could go towards the left hand. Your right hand is holding down your left knee. And relax your left shoulder. Letting go. Ten. We're going to take another inhale. And then as you exhale, you're welcome to roll back towards the belly. Your left arm can go underneath your right armpit. Your right arm can go out like a T or a Y. Your left hand presses on your right knee a little help here. And just relax. Open up. Feel your shoulder relax, feel your chest relax, feel your lower back, feel your upper back, feel that hip. Just notice how everything's letting go. Five, four, Three, two, just letting go. Now on the one, you can gently come back and pull the thighs in just for a moment. We're going to take legs up on the wall, which is a way to help circulation, help the vessels get some break. So you can also, uh, better you're fine to use your couch, yeah, or up in the air with a block. So I'll show up on the wall. Take your legs up and just make sure your knees aren't hyperextending or bending backwards. Take a moment to relax the eyes. Take a moment to relax the forehead. Feel your shoulders drop. Feel your jaw soften. Feel your ribs drop. Feel your abdomen. Your back. Relax the thighs. Relax the knees. The calves and the feet. Just letting go. Relaxing here. And I'm going to put us on Emerald Lake at the shore outside of 
uh, Gothic, Colorado, kind of near Crested Butte and Gunnison. There's a brilliant blue-green lake. It's probably 10,000 feet elevation, surrounded by beautiful wildflowers and even higher mountains. And you're just resting with a gentle breeze going through your hair with the smell of wildflowers in the air and the sound of the water gently touching the rocks on the side shore of the lake. It's a beautiful emerald color just like the name states. You can see elk in the background with their little white heart-shaped butts, beautiful brown hair, large ears, enormous racks. You can see marmots skirting around, standing up, looking around. And the sky is blue and the clouds are white. You can see large magpies, humongous birds, black long white tails, and osprey with a large nest up in the trees. And just take in all the peace of the scene, smelling the smells, you can smell the pine, hearing the noises of the birds, the little ospreys in their nest, the water on the rocks. See the blue in the sky and the white of the cloud. See the blue green of the Emerald Lake, and the beautiful red and dark purple rocks on the edge. The Indian paintbrush, red flowers, the black eyed Susans, yellow with black centers. Just take a moment to feel that sense of peace. There's nothing to do, there's no worries, and all is well. And when you're ready, you can gently wiggle your fingers and your toes and come up towards a seated position facing the front. And we're just going to do one little havening. This is bathing the amygdala, creating delta brain waves. You're just gently rubbing your fingers from the palm over the fingers. Very soft. You can focus on the sense on the sensations. Mm -hmm. Good, and then just take three strokes down, shoulder to elbows, the second of the havening. And then from the center of the eyes, over the eyebrows, underneath the eyes, and gently running down the jaw when you hit the center of the chin, over the eyes, around the eyes, down the jaw, one more time. It's just a little way to bathe the amygdala, helping release the old uh, wounds that are holding the body. And then let your hands come together, touch your thumbs to your heart, and just notice that sense of equanimity that's always there inside of us. When external variables tend to accidentally overwhelm our emotions, we can come back inside in that state of calm and create a sense of healing, balance, and harmony. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room with much care and appreciation. Thank you guys so much for joining. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for